Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before watching the video, you are requested to watch video completely, sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video and note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, write in comment box, I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please do like, share and subscribe because you will get the link for the next video. Thank you. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. And yes, let me mind you again. Don't forget to subscribe that can information for the next link of this video. Bye bye. Let's see what the question says. A circular disc D1 of mass capital M and radius capital R has two identical discs D2 and D3 of the same mass capital M and radius capital R attached rigidly at its opposite ends. The moment of inertia of the system about the axis OO dash passing through the center of D1 according to the figure. You have given four options A 2 by 3 mr square, option B 4 by 5 mr square, option C 3 by uh, 3 mr square, option D mr square. This question is asked JE mains 2019. As I have always been saying before solving the question, first we have set the central idea how to solve this question. First of things, for the D1, as we are well known, the center of mass of this disc at the center, that is the I1, for this D1, moment of inertia at the center, 1 by 2 mr square. Okay, there is no any problem. But for the second condition, you can see we have to find out the center of mass of this disc along the diameter. And this total mass and distance square means using the parallel axis theorem. What is the parallel axis theorem? As for the parallel axis theorem, we know that we have to find out the center of mass along any axis is equal to center of mass, moment of inertia of center of mass and product of square of the distance and whole mass of the body. This is the parallel axis theorem. So now we have using here for the I2. Here we have to find out the moment of inertia of this disc along the diameter and product of the distance. What is the distance? R square and mass. Then I2 equal to what is the formula of moment of inertia along the diameter? 1 by 4 mR square and this is mR square. And how much? I2 equal to 5 mr square upon 4 and uh, identically we have doing for the this is for the d3 for d3 disc and for d2 disc same i3 equal to 5 by 4 mr square now moment of nature of the whole system i1 plus i2 plus i3 what is I1? 1 by 2 mR square, 5 by 4 mR square, 5 by 4 mR square. Then how much? Total I equal to 5, 5, 10 and 2, 12 by 4 mR square. 4 ones are 4, 4 is are 12. Then I equal to 3 mR square. So, our third option is correct. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. And yes, let me mind you again. Don't forget to subscribe. That can information for the next link of this video. Bye-bye.